24.2.1 separable equations. Separable equation is a first of the differential equations that can be written in the form of this. And when you have separable equation, so you can rewrite it as this way. Just let the function that has only variable y with dy, and just let the function that has only variable x with dx. The next thing you have to do is you have to integrate both sides. For the left hand side, you have to integrate with respect to y, and for the right hand side, you have to integrate with respect to x. Let's just look at example 1. So example 1 is a typical separable equation. So you can move the 3y plus cos y to the left hand side such that it is together with the dy. And you can move the dx to the right hand side such that it is together with the x plus 4. This means that for the left hand side, you only have the variable y with the dy. And for the right hand side, you only have the variable x with the dx. Then you're going to integrate both sides. For the left hand side, you're going to integrate with respect to y. So this one will give you 3y squared over 2, and this one will give you sine y, and don't forget to write the plus c. For the right hand side, you're going to integrate with respect to x. So if you integrate with respect to x, this one will give you x squared over 2, this one will give you 4x, and don't forget to write the plus c. And you can see here I'm using the c1 for the left hand side, and for the right hand side I'm using c2 because they are two different constants. Then we're going to rewrite this line. So for the right hand side, you have plus c2 minus c1. c2 is a constant, so you minus with another constant c1, so it means that you're going to have a result of constant or so, so we're going to replace them with a constant c. So I'm going to have a next line. So this is the general solution for this differential equation. But usually, we're going to skip the step that are involved the c1 and c2. So we're going to skip the step that are in the middles. So what you have to do is you just have to write the integration and from the integration directly you just have to write a plus c at the right hand side. You just have to skip the step that involve with the c1 and c2. Okay, so this is the answer for the general solution and usually we can leave the answer in this way but for some people, they're going to improve this general solution by multiplying both sided with number 2. So if you multiply both sided with number 2, this is what you will get. So you can see that I'll have a plus 2c at the right hand side. So c is a constant, you multiply with 2, so you have a result of constant or so. Okay, then it as the constant a. So it means that I'm going to have the next line. So this is the next line. So this is another version of the general solution that we obtain for this example. Now example 2 is an initial value problem. You have initial condition here. Y 3 pi over 2 equal to 0. So let's just look at the differential equation. So change the y prime into dy dx. Now this is not a typical form of a separable equation. What you can do is you can modify it just that it is in the form of separable equation. Just bring this ex to the right hand side, you will have cos x minus ex in the next line. So now if you observe that for the right hand side are all in the variable x only, means that you can move the dx to the right hand side, so you have the next line. Now you can see that for the left hand side you only have the variable y with the dy and for the right hand side you have the variable x with the dx. Now integrate both sided. For the left hand side you integrate with respect to y so you have 3y squared over 2 and this one you integrate with respect to x so this one will give you sine x, this one will be ex and this will have a plus c at the right hand side. So now we have the general solution for this example. But because we have the initial condition, means that we have to continue. So when your y 3 pi over 2 equal to 0, it means that 
your x is actually 3 pi over 2, your value of y is actually equal to 0. So now substitute your value of x and y into the general solution. So you substitute it into the general solution, then we have the next line. Okay, so for the left hand side, you will have a 0. And for the right hand side, side 3 pi over 2 will give you negative 1. So simplify it, we have the value of c. And since we have known the value of c, you can substitute the value of c into the general solution. So when you have substituted the value of c into the equation number 1, so then we have this one. So this is what we call it as the particular solution. We call this one as a general solution because we do not know the value of c. But since we have known the value of c, we will call it as particular solution. Example 3 is another initial value problem because you have initial condition y0 equal to 2. So let's just look at this differential equation. So move this one to the right hand side. So if you move this one to the right hand side, we have this one. But do not integrate this one directly because your cotangent x is not together with the dx. So you cannot integrate these equations because you do not have the variable x together with the dx. So what you can do is you have to modify it until you have the variable x with the dx. So the cotangent x is actually equal to the 1 over tangent. So uh, 1 over tangent x. Okay, so now the tangent x, you can move it to the right hand side. So if you move it to the right hand side, then we have 5 tangent x dx for the right hand side. So now we have the variable x with the dx, we, have, we can integrate it. So we integrate both sided. So you integrate both sided. For the tangent x, if you integrate, you can use this formula. So for the left hand side, if you integrate with respect to y, so we have y and this one, according to this formula, you have negative ln cos x. So simplify it, then we have the general solution for this example. But we have to continue because you have the initial condition here. So let's continue. So when y0 equal to 2, it means that whatever inside the bracket is your value of x. And your value of y is actually equal to 2. So substitute your value of x and y into this general solution. So if you substitute, we will have the next line. So this is 2 here and it is 0. Okay, so now cos 0 is actually equal to 1. But ln 1 is actually give you 0. So 0 multiplied with negative 5 will give you 0. And your value of c is actually equal to 2. Now we have known the value of c. So substitute the value of c into your equation number 1. That is your general solution. So substitute here. then you will have the particular solution. But take note that the integration of tangent will have another formula that is equal to the ln secant x. This means that we're going to have an alternative solution for this example. So let's just move to the alternative solution. So if we look at here, we're going to use the formula that is involved with the ln secant x. This means that the next line you will have this as the general solution. Now let's just look at the initial condition. So you have y 0 equal to 2. So it means that your x is actually 0, your y is actually 2. So substitute into your general solution. So instead you have the next line. So your y is actually 2 your x is actually 0. So secant 0. So your secant is actually equal to 1 over cos. So you have cos 0 here. So cos 0 is actually 1. And 1 over 1 is 1. Ron 1 is actually 0. So 0 multiplied with 5 is actually 0. And you have your value of c that is equal to 2. So now you have known your value of c, substitute your value of c into your general solution here. 
So then we have our particular solution. So please take note that there are two versions of particular solution for this example. If you are using the formula that is equal to negative ln cos, then this will be your particular solution. But if you are using the formula that is ln secant x, then you will have this particular solution.